Good afternoon, Dons. This is Aaron Hernandez for SAC Student News. We begin today by welcoming our new interim president, Marilyn Flores, who will begin her time at SAC starting July 1st. Flores, who has served as vice president of academic affairs at Santiago Canyon College since 2016, was recommended by the district chancellor last week and approved by the Rancho Santiago Community College District Board of Trustees on Tuesday. Starting in the fall of 2020, the Television and Video Communications Department will now operate under the new name Digital Media. The courses, degrees, and certificates will remain unchanged. However, you will now find classes listed under DM instead of TELV when registering. Any class you took under TELV will still count towards all DM degrees and certificates at SAC. CSU and UC campuses will treat DM and TELV classes the same when reviewing your transcripts. The name change itself was made to reflect the current changes in the industry. This week, protests over the killing of George Floyd gripped cities across the nation, including Santa Ana. But first, our student reporters share their stories. Although students of Santa Ana College are practicing social distancing, contacting the transfer center is easier than ever. Students can visit the school's website and set up an account with Cranium Cafe. Cranium Cafe is a platform that allows students to chat live with the Transfer Center. The platform also allows for video chat and audio chat. Students can also message the Transfer Center if no faculty is available online to chat. Cranium Cafe is simple to set up. All you need is an email address to get started. As many more places are opening up here around South California, here in Santa Ana, school officials are planning for the next start of the upcoming school year. The Santa Ana Unified School District is possibly going to be open August 10th, according to Superintendent Jeremy Almendares. The school district is monitoring the COVID-19 situation and will monitor all available resources to keep staff and students safe. As for the Rancho Santiago Community College District, school officials have yet to announce anything for the fall semester, but say they will continue throughout the summer through remote online instruction. Main Place hosted a diaper drive this last Sunday from 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. The handout focused on giving diapers exclusively to parents who could either not afford them or find them in stores. We're just out here with Power of One Foundation for the diaper drive um, in Santa Ana, Main Place Mall. Um, we are just uh, getting people who are in need of diapers um, any kind of assistance right now because I feel like everybody is in need of some kind of assistance. Parents approach one by one in their cars to avoid physical contact, where volunteers would open their trunk and put divers inside and send them on their way. This was the first time they had held the distribution on a Sunday. They had previously held them on Wednesdays. This is our um, sixth one, I believe. They're a lot smaller than our food distributions, but it's starting to catch momentum and, and the need's definitely there. The volunteers also noticed some of the acts of appreciation from those who benefited from the drive. Um, honestly, just all of the thank you signs. Everybody is so appreciative. I've seen people roll up crying. Um, people have dropped off like cards. It's just really amazing to see like all of the gratitude from the community. It just it, it makes you feel like we're we're really all pulling in this together. In Santa Ana for Sex City News, I'm Aaron Hernandez. The Santa Ana College Music Department has been lifting spirits by uploading performances to YouTube. These videos started as a way to alleviate music students' loss of in-person performances. And we just took the assignment that we had for the week and we decided to go ahead and make a video and post it and people were very pleased by it. You know, the students were thrilled that they were, you know, it felt like they were being musicians and I was really happy that uh, we had something productive that came, that came out of that session as well. Music teachers are looking for new ways to hold their classes while adhering to social distancing guidelines. I've, I've thought of it many times. Hey, we ought to do this. Oh, yeah, we should try that. But there's always so much that has to be done that some of those things that seem like neat ideas get pushed to the side uh, because you're, you're not sure if you want to take the risk. You're not sure if you have the time to invest to, to, to do this new uh, untested thing. Um, our choirs, for example, this semester, we're working on Pirates of Penzance. We're going to do a concert. Uh, a rendition of that uh, light operetta and uh, um, we of course can't now 
Uh, so we're trying to do that in virtual format. We're trying to do very similar to what uh, we did in We'll Meet Again with the entire choir. Uh, and I think that's, that, again, that's something I've thought about doing in the past. Could we ever do this with some of our material? Never got around to it. Now we're being forced to, forced to innovate in a way. We have to continue the fall as we have as we're going to end this spring we have uh we're going to take advantage of all of our opportunities to make good art to uh, to make some really wonderful music we're here we're still going to well, you know our mission is the same uh we're, we're going to provide you with a, a valid experience and obviously in our times what we're doing is quite valid because uh, who knows um you know, we, we, we need to be able to exist in this environment. And uh, so we'll be figuring it out, we'll be sharing it with the students, and it may take a little bit of a, a sales job, you know, to convince everybody that this is, is still a valid experience, but we're, uh, we're committed to it. For SAC News, this is Jennifer Posadas. The death of George Floyd sparked protests in cities across the nation even right here in Santa Ana. Uh, well, last night, uh, you know, we saw here in, in Santa Ana that there's, uh, like in other parts of the country, you know, a lot of concern, uh, a lot of frustration, a lot of anger, a lot of rage. Uh, we did have here on, on Bristol, uh, you know, about 400 uh, protesters, you know, most of them very uh, peaceful, but in the uh, early hours of uh, this morning, we did have, uh, couple of businesses that were broken into, they threw rocks. One target of vandalism was Santa Ana College's Digital Media Center. We arrived at the same time as some local residents who had decided to assist in the cleanup. I mean, we've lived here all of our lives and to see our city being destroyed like this, it's even worse than everything else. I mean, it just, it adds to, it adds to the destruction and all the unjust injustices that are going on right now. In anticipation of more unrest, some businesses, like Northgate Market, have preemptively boarded over their windows, and a curfew has been put in place as well. Here, uh, you know, the, the city has been, uh, you know, a focal point for peaceful protests for many years, and so our city is prepared. Uh, we do plan on having a curfew tonight. Uh, to, to help with, uh, you know, with keeping everything uh, peaceful. Reporting from Santa Ana, this is Andrew Lapp, SAC News. That wraps up the final episode of SAC News for this semester. We thank you for sticking with us through an unusual time. As always, you can check out our YouTube channel for more SAC News content. And of course, stay safe.